Today on the 5 Minute Expat News Brief, we talk about Air Canada stopping flights to and from the US and an update on the Global Affairs Emergency Loan Program. Welcome to the Canadian Expat. Here we discuss a few items that we think are relevant to Canadians living abroad. If you are living outside of Canada or are considering moving abroad or even on your way back, our goal is to get you bits and bytes of information that will prove to be useful and interesting. To make sure that you know when we upload a new video, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you get notifications. Air Canada has announced that as of April 26th, it will cease all flights between the US and Canada. They announced that at this point the intent is to resume flights again on May 22nd, but warned that this could also change depending on the situation and any government restrictions that may be either extended or applied. This means, of course, that if you live anywhere in the US and depend on air transport, it's going to become a bit harder for you to come back to Canada, whether that be for business or pleasure, of course. There are only a few airports throughout Canada that are currently authorized to process international travel. And it's clear that if you're looking for a way back home, things will become that much more difficult for you. Back on March 16th, Toronto Pearson International Airport, Montreal's Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, Calgary International Airport, and Vancouver International Airport became the only four airports permitted to receive flights from abroad. Following the initial announcement of US-Canada travel restrictions back on March 21st, Air Canada maintained limited service to only 11 US destinations from its three Canadian hubs, primarily to facilitate the repatriation of Canadians. The last scheduled commercial flight from the US to Canada will be on April 26th. For those who are scheduled to be on a flight after April 26th, the airline is waiving change fees and will enable passengers to reschedule the travel without penalty. Global Affairs Canada has announced that to date, just over 2,000 loans totaling $6.4 million have been approved through their emergency loan program for Canadians abroad. We featured one of those Canadians in a recent video. Greg Hung, originally from Vancouver, currently living as a digital nomad in Malaysia, spoke to us about the process. Yeah, I sent an email to get an application number and then they asked some questions and they wanted, um, yeah, they wanted proof of uh, costs, costs to get back home, the costs uh, over here. And then after that was a phone call and then um, after the phone call, they basically tell you whether you're approved or not. And then, yeah, it was pretty, pretty quick, direct deposit after that. Global Affairs Canada and its missions are currently processing another approximately 2,000 loan applications from around the world. The program is intended for Canadians who are currently outside of Canada and are directly impacted by COVID-19. Those eligible are able to apply for an emergency loan of up to $5,000 to help you return to Canada and to cover your short-term needs while you work towards returning. This is a loan and will need to be repaid. As I mentioned, our goal here is to be useful and interesting. Let us know how we're doing in the comments. And if you have a topic that you want us to cover again, let us know. Once again, to make sure that you know when we upload a video, please hit the subscribe button and that little bell so that you get notifications. It will benefit the channel and ensure that we're able to continue doing this if you hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.